let us assume that we received following information from the RDT. Name of the database server and purpose of the database server is for the information. As such, no major audit relevance. Database owner. As discussed earlier, each application needs to have a dedicated owner. So this is applicable for database as well. So each database also should have a dedicated owner. Owner is responsible and accountable for the risk and the controls related to that particular database. To the extent possible, owner should be an individual rather than a group. Individual ownership will ensure better accountability. First, let us check what are the requirements in information security policy. Okay, so this is the information security policy of the organization and if you see in Close 16 asset categorization. There is one clause with respect to dedicated owner. So each asset should have a dedicated owner, and to the extent possible, ownership should be assigned to individual having an appropriate level of authority. Now let us check whether this has been complied or not. Okay, so we can see here all the owners. Are basically individual and they seems to have appropriate level of authority all are head of department so let us assume all these individuals are having appropriate authority and this is being complied now let us move to next data field that is database categorization 